Hey YouTube, this is Chris again with another one of Tim and Chris's how-to videos. So in our last video we took this torn image here and we restored it to this. So now we're going to take this image and we're going to colorize it. So let's get started. All right, so here we have our image, and we're just going to um, take the take it piece by piece here. So we're going to do the background first. So we're going to go to our quick selection tool here. I'm going to show you how to use that. And we're basically going to get get in a corner or somewhere and click hold and just drag it down. And we're just going to take this background piece by piece. Now you can see here um, on my tool, I have a little plus sign, but if I hold the Alt key down you'll see it turn into a minus sign and what that does is going to deselect like you see here and so right now we're just going to deselect around the hairline here and we're just going to go around and make it as nice as we can and we're just going to take this piece by piece we're just going to go right around the hairline here. <coughs> and if you're curious how I'm moving this around, I'm uh, holding the spacebar key on my keyboard. Holding the Alt key, and we're just going to go right around the hairline here. And this is a really cool tool to use. I use this tool all the time. It can be a little intimidating at first, but once you get to, to using it, um, you're going to be using this tool a lot, trust me. <coughs> okay, so we're almost done with the background here. A really smart tool, and I'm really glad that Photoshop incorporated this in because it does a great job of selecting out uh, parts that we need and don't need. Okay, so now we have a little piece of the background here that we can see. So we're just going to get rid of that a little bit here, and it took care of that pretty much. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go around, and I can see right here that I could use a little bit more right around her hair. I'm not going to be as perfect as I would be. Um, just so that this video can go a little quicker, a little faster here. But we're going to make it look nice. Alright, so we got the background uh, good to go. So now we need to do a little piece right here. Is click on Refine Edge, and then click on Smart Radius. And we're going to bring this up to about 0.7 somewhere around there and this one also I'm going to bring up to about 0.7 and click OK <clears throat> now we're going to add some color to it I'm going to go to our adjustment layer down here, down here and click on solid color use whatever color we'd like I'm just going to stick with that one for right now because we're going to change the color in a minute and we're going to click the, the blending mode from normal we can either go to overlay or color let's see what overlay looks like and that looks pretty good Let's also see what color does. And that's not bad either, but I think I'm going to stick with overlay for this. Now I'm going to change the color because I really don't like that too much. So I'm going to click on, double click on this color here on the icon. And I'm just going to pick around and see what I like. You know what? That's not too bad. I think I'll stick with that. Alright, now that we have that done, we can name it background or BG. So we'll click on our layer here. And the next thing we'll do is... Uh, We'll do the skin and then the eyes. Okay, so we're going to click on our quick selection tool here, zoom in, and we'll just go over the skin here and deselect by holding the Alt key, what we don't need. Reduce the size of my brush just a little bit. There we go going to get just the hairline here. 
Sorry if you hear my cats in the background. They're fighting as usual. Well, to us, they're fighting. They're probably just having fun. All right, so we got that selected pretty good. And we're going to go to the arms. Holding the Alt key down. Oop. And then this arm here. Holding the Alt key down again. A little bit right there. And that looks pretty good. Okay. Resume in just to check. Maybe a little bit more right there. Okay, we're going to go to Refine Edge again. And Smart Radius. Bump that up to about 7. Bump the smoothness up to about 7 and click OK. <clears throat> now we don't want to select the eyes because we want the eyes to be a different color. So the way we're going to do that is we're going to tap Q on our keyboard. And that's going to mask all the stuff that we don't want. So then we're going to come to our brush tool. And we're going to get a hard brush here. We're actually going to paint this in ourselves. We're just going to paint red right around this area. Um, and that is going to deselect this from our selection. And this will not be part of the color that we're going to use for the skin. Let me just redo that real quick. I know it looks a little creepy right now, but it's going to look all right. So now what we need to do is uh, hit uh, tap Q on the keyboard again. And you can see that it deselected the eyes. So now that we have that, let's work on the skin color here. And we're going to go over to solid color. And we're going to pick a kind of like a skin tone peach, I guess. Maybe that looks okay. And we can always change these colors later. So then we're going to go from normal to color. And let's adjust that color just a little bit. Something a little more uh, natural for the type of uh, photograph that this is. And you can pick any color range that you want. But we're just going to try and get something that looks pretty good. We can change that. Actually, let's change that. I don't like that. That looks okay, right there. <clears throat> okay, so now we have the skin. We're going to do the eyes. So what we're going to do is we're going to um, click our uh, solid color. We see how we have this color mask. Well, we're going to pick uh, blue eyes, I guess. And we're just going to leave it there for now. Click OK. Now we're going to need to inverse this by going Control and I. Actually, we need to click on this layer mask first. So once we click on the layer mask here, we're going to control I. That's going to inverse that. And now we have a black mask here. We need a white foreground. We're going to zoom in to these eyes. And we're just going to hand paint them on with our brush tool. And we're just going to go right around the eyes here. And it's still going to look a bit creepy, but we're going to overlay that. Just right around the eyes. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to switch the blending mode from normal. We can try overlay. And that doesn't look too, that looks crazy. Um, we, let's try color also. I kind of like overlay for this one. That looks pretty good. All right, so now we've done the eyes. And like I said, you know, we're not making really vibrant colors because it doesn't fit the photo. You know, the photo probably was taken, you know, uh, definitely uh, in our past. And we just kind of want to be able to fit the air, fit the photo with the color. So we don't want really vivid, really bright colors with these. Okay, so now all we have is the shirt um, and the hair to do. So let's work on the shirt right now. Click on the layer here. And click on our quick selection tool. And let's start highlighting the shirt. Now I'm going to highlight pretty much... Um, I'm going to highlight the shirt, but I'm going to leave out the edges here because we're going to use a different color for the edges. So I'm just going to get um, the shirt here without the little edges and make sure I select everything. And just take your time doing this. Of course, I'm, I'm doing this a little bit uh, rushed, 
just uh, for the sake of the video here, the tutorial. So we have a little bit of hair here that we're going to put in. And we're just going to go right around it. And that looks pretty good. Now we're just going to go around and make sure that we have everything selected. Maybe a little bit up there. And that looks pretty good. We've got some down here that we need to take out. There we go. Okay, so now we're going to select a, a color for the shirt. <clears throat> Actually, let's go to Refine Edge first. And we're going to bump that up to about 7-ish. And this one also, and click OK. Now we're going to go to our Adjustment Layer and Solid Color. We're going to go with Purple. And we'll just leave it there for now, since we know that we can change it. And we're going to go from Normal to Color. And then we're just going to take this down a notch and just make it a little more uh, desaturated here. Just so, like I said, just so it could fit, you know, kind of the air. And that looks pretty good. We can always change that later. That looks pretty good. Okay, so we'll click OK. <clears throat> and now we're going to work on the edges. And we can name these. I forgot to name these. Let's go to Eyes. And this is skin, and this is shirt. OK, so now we're going to do the edges. Quick selection tool, zoom in. And let's do these edges real quick like. And photo restoration, it is a lot of fun. I believe, I think it's a lot of fun anyway. To take a picture that's, you know, had some damage done to it make it look nice and then older photos to add some color to it it's just really nice to do and we will do this last one here and you can see over here we got a little little bend in the shirt here and I'm not going to worry about inside um, right now I'm just going to go right on the edge here. I'm going to make my brush a little smaller just so I can get in that area. And that looks pretty good. Let's see. That looks pretty good. Okay, so now what we're going to do... <clears throat> oh, let me zoom in here real quick. Like, I think... There we go. So let's um, add some color to this. We're going to go to Refine Edge, Smart Radius, add about 7 to it, or thereabouts. Let me just type it in here. 7, should have done that to begin with. All right, so let's add some color to it. Adjustment Layer, Solid Color, Purple, and we're going to go with a little lighter purple. Let's check that out. Let's see how that looks. From normal to color. And we're going to take that, just a bit of that out. And that looks pretty good. You can tell the difference in the color. <clears throat> okay, so all we have left to do is the hair. So let's uh, do that. We'll click on our color here. And we'll name this um, shirt ends. And so with our quick selection tool, We'll just go right over the hair here. Just make a rough. Let me increase my brush size. And we'll just bring it down. And we just want the hairline here, right on the edge of the hairline. using our Alt key to take away. And we're going to go just around the hair, almost done. Putting some color to our photo. And it's going to look really nice. 
when we're finished. You know, get creative with Photoshop. There's a lot that you can do with Photoshop. You know, a lot of it's a you know it's a, a lot of it's a steep learning curve. <clears throat> but the cool thing with Photoshop is the steps are always the same. So once you know it, you know it. The steps don't change. And you know that's what I like about it. It's it seems intimidating, and you know sometimes people are like I don't understand how you, know, you guys do stuff like this. But hey, like I said. All the steps never change. Once you have the steps down, then you're good to go. And that looks pretty good. We'll just leave it at that. A little bit more up here. We're almost done with this tutorial. And if you're following along with me, you're almost done too. Almost done. Okay, now I know that there's some hair over here that I actually got into the shirt. <clears throat> and you can always take care of that later, but you know what, for the tutorial, I'm not going to worry about it. We're just going to color this hair, and then we'll be out of here. So we're going to refine edge. And 7. We're going to go smooth and 7. Click OK. Now we'll put some color on it. Some solid color. Now we'll pick a, like a blondish color, I guess on the yellows and we'll just go there for now because we're going to change that color and we're going to go to color now let's change that and make it a little uh, a little nicer here now hair and skin are the hardest things <clears throat> to get right and you know clothes whatever you can do whatever you like but hair and skin are a bit difficult to do. Well, I wouldn't say difficult. It's not really hard to do, but it's uh, you know it can be time consuming. So I might just leave it somewhere around here. I'm not going to waste too much more of your time, but I don't want it over overly done. I mean, let's see. You know, we'll just leave it at that. You've got the idea. So now we've gone from the torn photo to restoring it. And now if we can drop it in there. Oh, I forgot to uh, make my selection here. There, we can drop it in now. Now to color it. I know I don't like really like the hair. I would probably spend some more time on that hair. But that's how we went from the torn photo to the restoration to adding some color to it. And I hope this video has helped you. Please like this video. Please subscribe and comment if you'd like. Thanks for watching.